It was a way of, of tracking injury, tracking like, like if you'd broken your ankle, it could track your gait, put markers on, on the broken points and see how your recovery was, your rehabilitation was working. Then it started to be used um, in the video game world to track, uh, you know, athletes and martial artists' movements and so on. So that's why it was called motion capture. It was literally capturing physical motion. When we started using it in the film industry, it very became, became very quickly performance capture because it was allowing an actor to see an avatar version of, of what they were doing on a screen. And like, I mean, the very first time I actually had the opportunity of working on a character using it, the technology, you know, I literally could lift my arm up and then I would see the, the avatar characters lift his arm up. And then uh, it, 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 it then was a huge kind of epiphany for me that this was, this was a way of, you're, you're becoming like the marionette and the puppeteer at the same time.